How do you everyone? I just thought today I would do something that represent our city. So I'm going to ask you to do this. Go ahead and find a painting that you don't like. Something that you have done before. Um, now go ahead and find something even if it has clumps on it. Um, like this is my actual... Uh, what is it? A board that I put any painting on, basically. Um, it wasn't any artwork or anything. Um, you're welcome to use a simple one, or you can use uh, any size canvas or anything you want. The only reason I'm saying this is because they always say uh, if you end up doing something uh, like what we're going to be doing, is better to be done over something else for good luck. <laughs> so find your canvas, um, go ahead and paint it totally black. Don't forget to do the sides and we can start. I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, since I'm doing this for the first time with you, I thought, uh, I show you as, as I'm going because there are some little mistakes. This canvas has a lot of clumps on it. If you're using a fresh new canvas, then you don't have this problem. Now I'm going over every single one and if you can see, it doesn't cover all. So all I have to do put more and make sure to cover almost every every little piece that you can think of. So go over it a couple of times, make sure that you have enough uh, paint and you're covering the whole canvas without any kind of a, uh, here and there cut. Hold on to some of your black paint. So for this painting, you need three brushes, three different kind of uh, color. Decide if you like to have a portrait style or if you like to have a landscape. I think because this is a, a horseshoe, I'm going to try to have a portrait style. So take a, a light brown that you have. Your uh, uh, black right now is uh, fresh. So when you put your brown, it's going to go darker than it is usually. Um, take a brush that is totally flat and decide. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide this canvas to half. Uh, these are all by eyes. I'm going to put a, like a approximate line over there. Then uh, again divide it to half in here. So it's in here somewhat and another half in the bottom, which would be about here, I would say. Then divide the canvas from the sides to half. So I'm going to go right in here, I think. See, you don't have to see the line perfectly as long as you can see them. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to start. Mm, let me see. Uh, I'm going to think that I want to have a really big one. So I'm going to start and go down and basically make a U shape. Keep using your light brown. This just makes it uh, easy for you to, do, to see the distance. That's all it is. Now, let me see. I think this is my middle, right? So if I'm going, I need to be going more in the middle. So I'm going to make it two brushes and in here, same thing. I'm going to come more to the middle. So I'm going to come more to the middle and make a U shape. Now make sure whatever you're over here, you're over here too. So I'm going to come straight down 
with this one. And with this guy. So the outline is almost ready, but I still want to see the outline. So you see, uh, because of the grunts, you can't really have them perfectly straight, which is actually awesome for this. So you have this. And we're gonna have this guy. Just make sure they are proportional. Now you almost have the outline of your uh, horseshoe. Uh, make it as wide as you like, as high as you like. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my black again and try to destroy the lines that I made uh, just for my reference. So I'm gonna destroy all of these. And give it a few seconds for it to dry. Even though it's, the outline is okay, I still need to go ahead over it and do some. So take maybe uh, some light brown or um, actually take some of your um, white and maybe uh, make it the shape uh, or the shades that you like. Um, I'll be right back as soon as this black get dry a little since it's very dark I decided to make it a little lighter with my brown so I mix my brown with a light well titanium white and I'm going to do exactly the same thing over again remember Paint time is therapy, so use it as you enjoy it. Now, many people believe that the horseshoe shape or any kind of a horseshoe is supposed to be good luck. So if you like to add any message to the painting that you're making, uh, you're welcome to do so. Um, I don't know, write in the bottom of it or the top. Um, good luck, uh, love. A lot of people say is hope. Um, whatever you like it to be. Now, as you can see, I'm not making it extremely smooth and my canvas is not smooth neither, which makes it a good idea. And the shade on it, you don't have to worry of being consistent because uh, you, know, you don't have a consistency the whole way around. I always say, enjoy every minute of it. So I feel like this is almost done. Um, I'm just going to take a plain white and hold it 90 degree and make this guy go a line almost in a, not in the middle, very close to the side of it. Again, go ahead and add a message up there, over here in the middle. Um, diagonally would be a really nice one, writing good luck. Um, especially if you are giving it as a gift 
um, if you want to uh, have this as a uh, light brown as I was going go ahead if you want to have it a, um, a gold color you can always do that there's diff so many different colors that you can actually use to to do this um, and you don't have to use any um, water at all so I'm trying to make just the middle part more uh, of a lighting or it lighter in the middle that's all I'm gonna do I'm not gonna make it uh, too crazy then let me take uh, some crumbs and here and there just put some dots so it's not the uh, too plain, I guess. I'm putting big crumbs so you can actually see the paint. You don't have to be again consistent with the um, uh, distance between them or anything like that. Now this painting would be awesome to put at your uh, entry door um, on the top of uh, your bed anywhere basically um, just enjoy doing it while you're doing it since paint time is always therapy. Um, do what you feel like it. If you want to make uh, these sides a little more rough, go ahead. It doesn't have to be um, um, perfect lines, so you can always add something so it doesn't look so perfect on the side. That's it. I don't want to do too much with this because it was supposed to be a fun little painting for anyone to do. So if you're finished, uh, go ahead and take your um, signing brush. Remember, if you sign it, you can touch it. So go ahead and sign it when you feel comfortable with it and enjoy deciding where to uh, hang it because there's so many places you can hang it and enjoy it. Have a wonderful day!